Gwan Massive, I'm F Ziba. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I share with you what I do to live naturally on a budget. Now today I'll be taking you to show you one of Jamaica's greatest historical treasures. So please ensure that you stay tuned because you're definitely going to enjoy this one. So welcome to one of Jamaica's most popular tourist destination, the Helsha Beach. Today we're here, I will be just giving you a brief tour of the Helsha Beach, what it looks like now and giving you a little background on Helsha Beach. Now originally the Helsha Beach came about or the settlement came about when runaway slaves came to this destination seeking a refuge. It was a place where they could come for healing and so it was originally called Helsha Beach. Now based on how Jamaican people always pronounce things bad, I guess it moved, it moved from Helsha to Elsha and so it got its name Helsha Beach. As you drive into the beach you will notice these wooden structures, some of them are concrete. These are actually shops and some are homes. The Elsha Beach is operated by the Half Moon Bay Fisherman Corps and so many of the fishermen and their families live along the beach's shoreline. These structures are shops and as you can see they have little sheds to cater for the diners. Here are the front sections of the buildings. This is a recently erected cell tower. I think it is so unsightly, but the authorities say that they have installed it to monitor the erosion of the beach. These boats have been docked here by the fishermen, and this section of the beach is actually one of the remaining parts of shoreline that is still intact. Now, this section here that I'm showing you out on the waters on the sea, this lies between Kingston Harbour, Port Royal and Portmore and then this tired old horse but one of the remaining attractions or activities is horseback riding So there is also a lot of sarcasm or what we know as seaweed on the beach and I also believe that the authorities are trying to investigate what is causing the overgrowth of the sargassum. Telsha Beach was once a famous hotspot for a Sunday get together with family and friends. But as you can see, the beach is fast disappearing due to erosion. In this area, the shoreline has significantly eroded and you can see that some of the shop owners have actually put rocks there to mitigate any further erosion. Um, they have also used sandbags and tires. So this is where I normally come to have my fish meal, um, Bev and Sons. And so you can see how much the area here has eroded. Here is a photo that I took in this vicinity in July 2017 so you can see how much the beach has rapidly eroded. Um, a lot of this was further out more into the sea but now they have to put rocks here so that they can prevent the sea from coming in for further erosion. So they also have some wiring at the front as well to prevent further erosion. So the next time you come to the shop, ensure that you stop by them and so. So I found this good gentleman here who was willing to give me an interview. So you can tell us a little bit what you know about the Elsha Beach, how long you've been here, and about your work, what you do. You see you have some um, emblems and some photographs. You want to tell us you make them so on. Over here, many years now, like some 10 years. Right now I'm very fine, but you got to find out the um, sea taking away all of the land over here. And I've uh, seen some source of sickness come in. Make most of the thing get getting dumped all right now. I know, sir. I said anything to you. We still have to work with certain source right now. Mm -hmm. 
most of all these things here. I make most of them. Okay. So you want to tell us about I, what you make? Yeah. Most of all these chain here, I, I make them and what kind of material do you use? Oh, we use volcano stone and ordinary plastic, yeah. Okay. With all these um, fullness of these fullness here, I, I bought them from French, yeah. Okay. You make the calabash as well? Yeah, I make this calabash here. How much you sell those, huh? Oh, we sell these um, three bills probably to make money. Mm -hmm. Um, the small ones too? Yeah, cheap is probably. Alright. Okay, see, I'll go buy one and then come back. Oh, and these are the, the stone where you're throwing at the river. You know, if, oh, what name again? Arsai. Arsai. Yeah. So these are Arsai beads. Yeah, that's Arsai. So everything is Arsai? No, some of them is nickel. What? Nickel. Nickel? Okay. Okay. Alright. So where are the, the, the volcano stones though? Volcano stone is these quite quality beads, you know? Okay. Yeah. Right. Come from a small island. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. All the best in every little thing, you know. Yes, and all the best to you too. May I come back and buy one of your calabash? Cause I definitely want one of that for my kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. So now that I've finished giving you the tour, my real purpose on the beach today is to get some fish. So this is a part of how I live naturally on a budget. I will be just waiting out here for the fish boat to come in and then we're going to see if they have any fish for us today <laughs> so a couple of boats came in and here is our fish Yes, the fish from my dinner. So the men at the seaside, they actually scale and cut the fish for you. You can get your lobster, but I do not eat lobster. So that's for the lobster lovers. All right, there's a I'm for a point of sign up. Send me change, come on. And basically, after you purchase your fish, all you need to do is to go home, wash it, and cook it. So again, this is my catch. I did get some doctor fish as well. I really wanted to have it out of the calabash that I bought but then the calabash had some stuff in it and I kind of have to sterilize it a bit more so yeah now we've come to the end of the video if you remain until now thank you for watching big up yourself and I just leave the scripture with you 